Welcome everyone to the first episode and hopefully a very long series in Skyrim. But this is no ordinary Skyrim, this is living Skyrim. If you're in the dark about what this is, it's a mod pack or a collection of mods made by Forgotten Glory. It is one of quite a few mod packs which can be found through a program called Wobbajack. I will provide links to all that in the description. This, like many other collections, overhaul pretty much every core element of the original game to some degree or purpose. I won't go everything this collection has changed, that would be crazy, but as things do appear, especially the core changes that do and will affect the way you approach this new Skyrim, I will give my two cents. A link to the full list of mods in LS3 will be in the description. However, Skyrim has been out for like a hundred years at this point, so you'll most likely see the differences as I do. One quick note about the download and installation process. If you do decide to install this mod pack, I would recommend getting a premium subscription to Nexus Mods. If you don't, you will need to click download on every single mod as it installs within the Wobbajack program. A membership will do this all automatically and at the fastest speed. If you're incredibly patient and have several days to do it manually, by all means go for it. It's just a forewarning about how long that might take. I'm also not an expert on this pack. I had played, or I did play this about 12 months ago, but there have been a ton of updates since then, so the experience may be vastly different to what I remember. I do, however, have several thousand hours in Skyrim as a whole, but if you're like me, then you probably spent most of that time modding than actually playing. Which is why this and other mod packs that you can find on Wobbajack are so good. You just hit download and it will do it all itself with only a little bit of effort on your behalf before and after to complete the setup successfully. With that being said, let's get into my character's backstory. This story starts with my parents. I don't remember much about them. They died so long ago, when I was maybe three or four. The last words of my father's, run, hide. Why? My parents had made the unfortunate mistake of unknowingly setting up camp too close to a broken down temple that had in fact been overrun by the undead only recently. And in the dead of night, they invaded our camp. I did what my father told. I ran. I kicked. But I could still hear my parents scream as they were slaughtered in the distance. Close by, however, a group of mercenaries, members of the Companions, led by a man named Varion, who had by luck been travelling by the nearby road, rushed in to investigate. They were outnumbered, and Varion would be the only one left standing, his men dead around him. He retold this night to me many times over the years, how he found me. My parents never stood a chance, he would say. They travelled light, a few provisions, food, some coin. The only thing I have of theirs that remains, a boarding pass to Skyrim. It's so old now, it's barely legible. But I hold on to it because I knew one day I would return. For revenge, closure, I never really knew. Only that I have felt a pull to this land every day since their deaths. It's hard to believe it's been 20 years since that night. But just like my parents, Varion, my mentor, was also taken from me. A man who held no connection to me, a small little girl, took me in, taught me everything I knew, weapons, magic, survive in the wild. He was like a father, and I'll forever be grateful to him. What was interesting is only a day after his death, I would come across an unmarked letter, an invitation to solitude, to a museum. A curious thing to be sure, almost like fate, now that right after my mentor's death, the path back to Skyrim would be handed to me. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of RP from my wife. It isn't a strong suit of mine, but I thought at 
least a little backstory would be nice. It helps shape her personality, her choices and motivations, etc. This is Emmy and she falls under this sort of paladin crusader archetype. Sword and board with a strong affinity to restoration magic and imbuing her gear and weapons with enchanting. With a basic knowledge of potions and poisons. This is a no bows, no summons sort of playthrough. She isn't a lone ranger by any means, so she will have a follower or two, which is generally recommended by the author of this collection. I did ultimately decide to skip the character customization part because it's a very lengthy process within LS3, making sure all the mods are configured properly and the decision-making process for some of the mods can take some time. Classic cl classes and birthstones is part of this collection, so I went ahead and created a custom class that reflects the archetype I was going for. But here we are on the Docks of Solitude, back in this cold land after 20 years. Our first step is to follow up on the letter we received from Orion. Greetings, my friend. I hope this letter finds you and finds you well. It's been some time since we've worked together. I had a proposition for you. Assuming you can be persuaded to pull yourself from your work at the Gilwyn University. I recall in your last letter you expressed wishing to get back into the field again, and I think this proposal have you most intrigued. I have been fortunate enough to have been able to establish a museum located here in Skyrim, in the city of Solitude, which I have named Prophetic Legends of the Dragonborn. This letter reads like it was not made for me, nor my mentor, but as it was unmarked, I took it as a sign of fate that it would, perhaps, accidentally be sent to me. So, let's get to it. Welcome to Living Skyrim. Now, while we work our way up through the gates of Solitude, let's talk about how this pack will be different from a normal vanilla Skyrim playthrough or even a lightly modded version. LS is designed to be played on Adept, forced and first and foremost, so that's where I will start. And we'll just see how things go. LS is also a far less forgiving world, and without some level of preparation, you will be punished for it. The leveling and combat systems are the biggest changes you gain experience towards your level, not by raising skills, but exploration, dungeon completion, and quests. The combat differences I will show, not describe. Now, I'm going to attempt this playthrough as if I've never seen anything before. Through the perspective of Ellie, she has never seen this heading. So that's how I will view all places, people, events, and interactions, as if they are being experienced for the first time. Let me know how you feel about that in the comments. Unfortunately, no matter how long I waited, um, it never happened. I went inside and came back out and it was completely over. So there must be something wrong with the progression of this particular event. So let's just press on. Now, you see that there in the middle of the screen? How my level increased that little bit more because I discovered a location. That is one aspect of how to level up in the Living Skyrim mod pack. And here we are, Dragonborn Gallery. But 
we'll just go inside. Let's stop trying to pick butterfly wings and... See Urian. I'm glad you're here. I trust things fare well. The voyage is long but uneventful. Well, let me give you the ten second tour then. This building was once called Nightmarian Hall and was built as a temple dedicated to Talos, the patron god of the Nords. After the White Gold Concordat, however, the statue was moved and the temple closed. I came here a few years ago and was able to procure use of the space in the pursuit of establishing this museum. Of course, I have had the building vastly expanded over the last few years to accommodate what I hope will become one of the grandest collections of Tanmir history in the world. This grand atrium I call the Hall of Heroes. It is where a variety of historically significant relics can be displayed and is quite a striking entrance to the museum, if I do say so myself. Off to the right is the reception hall and... No, I agree. It looks very nice. ...museum office where I do much of my work. To our left, you'll find the central hallway leading to all the other galleries of the museum, which also serves as the cultural arts exhibit. Here, I hope to display a variety of art, as well as elements representing the more primitive protection of Syrian society, such as the Falmer, Forsworn, the Giants, and more. Down here on the lower level, you will find access to the East Exhibit Halls, which houses the Daedric Gallery, the Hall of Lost Empires, Hall of Oddities, and the Hall of Legends, which showcase a vast array of relics pertaining to the Daedra, Dwemer, Fulmer, and ancient Nordic cultures, as well as a number of peculiar items that defy simple classification. At the close end of this hall, the stairwell will lead to the armories in the basement and up to the second floor. There, you will find access to the Natural Science Gallery, as well as the Dragonborn Hall, where I will commission a variety of displays heralding any of your accomplishments. At the far end of the hallway on both floors, you'll find access to the Grand Library, and here on this floor, the door on the right also connects to the museum office. If you cannot find me in my office, you will almost certainly find me whiling away the hours in the library. Also, you should pick up a copy of the museum guide at the entrance of the museum. It will let you know the schedule of where I'm working should you need to find me, that's very helpful, thank you. ...easier way of navigating the museum, as well as keep track of how many displays our museum has. Hmm. Of course, it may take me a moment to update those accounts, so check the guide again if you feel the numbers seem off. I'm sure I'll eventually account for everything. Any items you find for display, you can either manually place them yourself, or utilize the prep station in my office. And I'll ensure everything you have gets properly displayed if it has an appropriate place. I'm likely to have a variety of tasks for you, but in between, I'm sure you could help me find a random relic or two I've been researching. Feel free to look around and come find me if you have any questions. I'm very excited about the prospects and where we are headed. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. I did promise you room and board after all, didn't I? Here did is you? the key to the safe house upstairs. You can get to the safe house through the stairwell in the soft barracks or by going outside the museum through the door in the upper level of the atrium. The balcony out front connects to the safe house patio. And lastly, I have a few leads for you to get started as you get more familiarized with Skyrim. Also, this region can be very treacherous with all the frost trolls, saber cats, and the like. The areas to the south may prove a better place to start. Thank you. Alrighty, so now that we've had the 10 Septum tour, I do want to establish that completing this museum is an almost impossible task. And it will not be the sole focus of the playthrough. Instead, it will simply happen in the background. You won't see me drop in and go through the process of adding to the collection, especially the tedious stuff like all the generic armors and weapons. I will show my progress from episode to episode and you will see me acquire any major artifacts. Basically, if I'm sent to receive something by the curator or within the quest line, then you will see it. But again, drop a comment down below if you wish me to do things a little different. For now, let us have a look at the safe house he suggested what he has given us here we 
ya. Now, just like most, well, player houses, it has pretty much everything you can possibly desire. Smelter, chanter, alchemy, staff stuff, and a sorting chest for basically everything you could possibly want to sort. Eventually, you also do obtain the ability to sell directly at a percentage of the base cost, but that's not available to us just yet. Kitchens for cooking, which I'm sure that we will do. Preparing for our adventures will be very useful. Bedroom. Storage. Blah, blah, blah. The biggest reason I have unlocked the museum to start is because it is just good to get it out of the way so I can focus on the rest of the game. When you have a legacy of Dragonborn, which is the museum the, and everything associated with it, as part of your playthrough, it will become an integral part no matter what you do. Plus, this will be our home base, which gives you pretty much everything you could possibly want. But let's continue forward. Should be able to jump down here. Easy enough. So, the initial progress of any character in Living Skyrim will be through missives. They are simple, repeatable quests or chores, as I like to think of them. They will be your best friend at the start. They offer coin, as mentioned, and as end, as mentioned before, quests give experience. So to start, use them to gain a little bit of experience, a few levels to pump into some skills, so combat is a little bit easier. Every major hold has a quest board just like this. So as I discover each new hold, I will seek out the board and take anything that seems doable. For now, let's have a look at Solitude's boards. Collection, gather, hunt, cover. So at the beginning, deliver quests are your friend. They're really simple and will provide an additional bonus of discovering new areas, which leads to experience gain. So let's deliver this letter to Dragonbridge. Let's X to bring up the HUD. We will need to go and find the person who wishes the letter to be delivered first. Where is she hiding? Oi. Kieran said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. I did get here right before it, but wouldn't do it. Here for delivery post. Of course. Like the letter. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Need something? I heard the gourmet hiding out somewhere in Skyrim. You know, and what we will do no, actually we won't. The carriage is not too far away.
L is to bring out that light you see. It's part of the sentence. Take me to Where do you want to go? Dragon Bridge. Climb and back and we'll be off. You ever met one of them cats? A sheep, I think they call themselves. I hear there's whole countries full of them down south. Now we have it, our first level up. Which I might as well take right away. And we'll pump into health. So, first off, I think heavy armor or block. I think heavy armor. Another quiet day. Oh. Hopefully, me running around collecting all of the alchemy ingredients doesn't get too annoying. Alchemy is another aspect of preparing for your adventures so you will find me creating potions and poisons when needed Julian uh -huh. I have a letter for you yes. thank you here this is for you and we won't we won't ask actually I'm hoping might to. as well no Nope. So. She's got nothing for me. Until next time. Let's push into daytime. Good. Nice sunny day. I actually will turn right back around. Go and ask. Or any leads. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Bounty. Bandits. Good day. By the order of Elis. Elisif. Ready? Where might that be? All the way up here. Something to keep in mind for much later. To start things off, my initial goal is to unlock all the major holds just for convenience so I'll use the carriage system to travel around checking the missive boards for anything that seems doable gaining experience for doing both exploration and quests When it comes to fast travel, however, I will leave that up to you guys. So you can let me know in the comments how you want that to be handled. Whether or not you care, like if you're just fine with me using it with no restrictions, or perhaps simply only to major holds, you can let me know. And right now I'm traveling the wrong way. I'm wearing heavy armor. Let's 
I'm really slow. quickly touch on game stability so there will be crashes I will attempt to cut things nicely um, if it happens you hopefully won't even notice because I will just simply get my character back to where the cut or crash occurred and continue on my rig is pretty good but that doesn't really matter when there are so many mods interacting with each other. Any Skyrim planet player who has spent a good amount of time modding will understand this unfortunate reality. Where do you want to go? I want to go to White Run. Actually we we will go to Riverwood and we'll, and we'll walk from there to White Run. Just sit back. Actually, it would be really nice to know how long these carriage rides take. You would think it would take several hours to travel from Solitude all the way down to Riverwood. Alrighty. Wow, this game really does look stunning. Who do we have to talk to? Bangdell. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. Maybe never mind. But I would stay away from him if I were you. What? What's your problem with Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. Think you're better? An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. Perhaps. Oh. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. To be honest, yes. Sure, why not? This ought to be amusing. Oh, given Camilla the letter. Camilla. We're at the Riverwood trailer trader. Well, one of us has to do something. I said Ooh. no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Sorry you had to hear that. It's okay. What's wrong? Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Let's first see what you've got for sale. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. This is
don't have anywhere near enough money for this. What about foods? Nothing spectacular. Potions? You know what? I will buy a potion. But you never know how useful that might be. Other than that, fine. What can I help you with? Help me. What do you need? Of course. It's all in this note. I mean, you couldn't just tell me. I better get back to cleaning the store. Ingredients list. Honeycomb and purple mountain flower. Well, I've already got a purple mountain flower. Interesting. What a mess. Camilla, You're not familiar I met your friend outside. Another poem, I bet. You guys know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oath thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean out. You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. Uh oh. Back to Thandel. Wasn't as amusing as I thought it would be. No, that's good. Tell me as soon as you can. I, I did. Your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Oh, certainly needed. You can be of great assistance. Continue on to work. There you go. Good. What is that elk doing? Very tasty. This looks like a home. Riverfall Cottage. I do not have a key. I already have a home. Certainly doesn't feel very safe traveling. Right.
So, regarding the overall difficulty of LS, I follow a simple rule, and that's overworld before underworld. Especially so if there are any form of undead enemies. Skeletons, Draugr, or Vampires. They start at level 10 to 15. So, normally when you start the game, you go st start straight to Bleak Falls Barrow. But in this particular case, that would be suicide. Dragons are even worse. They start at level 20. So, we won't be going anywhere near the Dragonborn main quest for a little while. So overall, bandits are the best place to start, combat-wise. Anything near White Run to Riverwood area, animals like wolves, foxes, saber cats should be manageable. Everything else will be particularly diff either difficult, impossible, or suicidal. Put our weapons away so that we can actually regen some stamina. Oh, what do we have over here? A giant? So here's a good time for me to show locking on. That way when you turn. If I oh, giant. That was short lived. I will show the lock on system a little bit later. You could make for a decent shield system. Perhaps. What is a shield system? I have, in fact, heard of the Companions. My mentor was part of your guild. I would love to join. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Jorvasco. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Yeah. Carriage, stables. Alrighty, the gates of White Run. Okay, so I just made a quick cut to gather ingredients. Depending on the location, this can take some time, so I will skip over lengthy gathering runs for now. If you prefer that I don't, just let me know, it's up to you. Secondly, as I was walking around, I did unlock an achievement in the Achieve That mod which was filling up the stocks. This is to collect 250 um, ingredients. This in turn provides experience, providing progressing my character's level. But let's just move on. Now that we're in white one, let's check out the Mistives board. See what we have available. Alrighty, so we have just the one deliver, so I will take that. Why don't let me take? Okay. The 
rest are not immediately easy. Some of the gathering ones can be pretty straightforward if you know where you're going. But for now, we haven't exactly explored a lot, so I'm going to stick to delivery quests for now. And to make things a little bit easier to watch, I will skip to daytime. There we go, very nice. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Maybe. Now, conveniently enough, the additional reason why I wanted to come to Whiterun is for Tokata. Ellis as this follower as a marker from the start and is definitely worth picking up her for any kind of playthrough. She's designed to be any kind of mage you want, Lead the way. which you can configure from the bit. Pretty much you can set her to do whatever you want to do. For now, flames and healing and additional healing would be great. It just makes fatal mistakes, especially early on, more forgiving. You don't necessarily want to see me die over and over as I get acclimated to the difficulty of the world. So for now, we have two very nice followers. Ranged and a healer whilst I am the tank. Very appropriate party composition. Next will be... The companions, which we met earlier. A fight. Hey, watch me. Fight? I knew it. Well, that fight seems like it's never going to end. Let's quickly remove. Talk to Farkas. Vilkis is a better talker than me. And I join around someplace. The companions Tomlack is the one who figures out who can be a companion. So talk to him. Will do. It's out of my hands. All right then. Where might he be? Fight still going on. Must have scared them off. Bedrooms. Living quarters. Oh, I'm just a soldier here. You won't worry. But I still hear the call. Good luck. We all do. It is our burden to bear. We can overcome. You have my brother and I, Orcus. But I don't know if the rest will go along quite so easily. Leave that to me. A but danger luck. comes to our hall. I would like to join the companions. Here, let me have a look at you. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. A certain strength of spirit. Master. You're not truly considering accepting her. I am nobody's master, Vilkis. And last I checked, we had some empty beds in your vassal for those with a fire burning in their hearts. Apologies. Thought perhaps this isn't the time. I've never even heard of this outsider. Sometimes the famous come to us. Sometimes men and women come to us to seek their fame. It makes no difference. What matters is their heart. And their arms. Of course. How are you in battle, Vilkis? I can handle myself. That may be so. This is Vilkis. He will test your arm. Alright. Take her out to the yard and see what you can do. Aye. Let's do it.
dead, not what they'd not. Put me in and help me turn my life around. You don't belong here. What do you think you have to offer? Out in the courtyard? What the? You're to be a companion? <laughs> well, they just let me in, so there's probably no more room. The old man said to have a look at you. So, let's do this. Just have a few swings at me so I can see your form. Don't worry. I can change. There you go. Not that. Next time won't be so easy. You might just make it. But for now, you're still a whelp to us, new blood. So you do what we tell you. Here's my sword. Go take it up to Yorland to have it sharpened. And be careful. It's probably worth more than you are. Well, I don't like the sound of being a lackey, but for now, I will do what they ask. What brings you here? Hello, Orland. Victus sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer. Does Victus always send me from his own errands? Oh, don't worry too much about it. They were all whelps once. They just might not like to talk about it. And don't always just do what you're told. Nobody rules anybody in the battalions. Someone has to be in charge, though. Or... Yeah. Well, I'm not sure how they've managed it, but they have. No leader since he's grown up. Codlack is Podlack. a harbinger. And he's a sort of advisor for the whole group. But every man is his own. Every woman her own. Alrighty. I'll and be going here. Favor to ask. What is I've it? I've been working on a shield for Aela. My Ayla. wife is in mourning and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. I believe we met her out front of Whiterun, killing a giant. I'll be happy to lend a hand. Done. Let's end our first episode in Living Skyrim here. We have found our way from the shores of Solitude to Whiterun, inviting Thane Dell and Tokata into our journey, starting with our induction to the Companions. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. It could be kind of all over the place as we get set up, especially in LS, as you need to prepare a little differently, not just run headlong into the content. If you have any feedback and advice for me in general or as part of the series, I'm always open to it. Hopefully my commentary will improve as the series progresses. And I look forward to facing this old world in this new setting, so to speak. Like and subscribe if you want, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.